All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, nice punch there by Chor. How good is that right hand? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Just misses with the straight right. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. And he landed the right hand there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Wild swing there. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, single collar tie now. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Alvy gets tattooed by that straight punch. Trying to kick the leg out. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just missed with the left there. Real quick leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch to the clinch. His misses are entertaining. Now connects with a right. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked though by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. It's, high. it's such a fast leg kick. Nice punch win. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Alvin. Just misses with a left hook there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Straight right, he misses. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Beautiful body kick. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? You I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Beautiful strike. 20 seconds to go. Pretty good right hand. Ooh, what a head kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Final seconds here. Just missed with the leg kick. 
Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys would evenly match. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Alvi's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Great punch landing with so much power. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Now he gets the takedown, useful. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, that's a nice strike. Big kick lands. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Work those kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Alvi's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Straight right hand now just misses. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, nice. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by the Korean Superboy. Oh, misses with the jab. Joy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Beautiful punch. I need you to get 
Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Alvin. Oh, collar tie. Twenty seconds left. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Choi. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going. Through. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you will. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Liver kick. Nice. Slips that left hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Wow. Nice loop and punch. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. The right hand just misses. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Missed with that right hand. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch by Choi. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Alvin. There's no tell on that leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again, and this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured it. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Just misses there with the left. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. You can't take many of those, you better check. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Alvin. Choi's kick to the body is blocked. Out of range with that one. Back and forth we go. Man, 
Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. 60 seconds. Finish strong, baby. Finish strong. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. There by out. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Good stick. 20 seconds left. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. And they both stand up. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Chor. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty Ready good fight? previous two rounds, Ready. I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect the spot to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, man, head kick lands. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. More aggressive with your striking. That's a big strike right there. Well, a nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. And just misses with that big right hand. <laughs> big kick lands. The combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Straight punch lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Throws the right hand there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Double leg takedown is true. Pretty significant well to the left side. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head or he's going to get blasted. There's no give on that leg kick. He's back to the clinch. Oh, nice strike landed there by Alvin. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big kick land. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Two minutes to go. Nice one-two there. 
Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. To check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch take down landed now by Al. Right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the grounded pound starts. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. Keep that pace up. Wow. I'm impressed. He really broke him down with your strike. Keep that going. The inside low kick is awesome. All right, next round is underway. These guys still look pretty fresh to me. We know cardio is king in MMA, and these guys have it for days. They have cardio for days. You saw the work rate of the previous round. Let's see if it continues as we start the next round. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Overhand right, swing and a miss. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Nice leg kick. Ooh, big shot, Lance. Back and forth we go! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Straight right hand, no good. Joy's hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Good punch, Lance. Just misses with the straight right. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Alvin. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Just what he needed there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Alvi goes for the takedown. Unable to land. One of the better takedown artists out there. Nothing doing on that attempt. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. All 
Alright, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. A swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Punch is blocked. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, nice punch there by Al. Do not back up. They continue to exchange. Nice kick. Looked like he clipped him with a left hand counter there. Lands flush with that right hand. Back to the jab now, no good. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Now his cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Swing and a miss by Alvin. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Connects now with the one, two. 30 seconds to go in this one. Oh, and now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump or he can chase submission. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Doom!